Alright, back again, Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is a Game Boy Pocket, and uh, this is one that has seen much better days. Uh, this one is currently not working, and not sure if it uh, will turn on or not once we get through with it or not, but we're going to try and see what we can do with it. Uh, if we take a look at the back here, you can see what the problem is. This thing has been kind of doused in water and uh, it's been rusted and rotting for who knows how long. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is try and take this thing apart and we'll see what we can do with it. Obviously we're going to have to replace these posts here and try and clean up the shell the best we can and remove all the uh, electronic components off the inside here. And then we'll try and fire it up here and see what we get once we get everything put back together. So. First step is to remove all the screws and take this thing apart and uh, give it a look-see. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the uh, inside open up and the circuit board doesn't look as bad as what uh, I had expected it to. Obviously, these posts over here are quite corroded and uh, we're going to have to take a look at that. It looks like uh, also there's a snapped off screw that was put in the wrong spot. Not sure why that is there, but um, nonetheless, we'll take that out and we'll have to take off the screen and all that and get this thing all scrubbed back up. The buttons on the front side are really nasty as well and they've been scratched and gouged quite a bit, but we'll try and strip this thing down a little bit further and then once we get the case off here maybe we can try and get a little bit better access to these tabs which we're gonna have to try and polish up and salvage if possible but I'll get on that and I'll be back in a little bit okay so as you can see here we've got everything taken apart we've got our screen which appears to be in pretty good condition got our circuit board which should be a little bit easier to get at now we can take these tabs off probably try and scrub them down and if they just dissolve we'll have to make some new ones for it well, hopefully we can salvage it these springs are definitely gonna have to be redone but other than that it should be okay I'm not sure about the contact points on the inside here the rest of the circuit board appears to be pretty decent so that's a good thing. There's no apparent rust or anything that seems to be seeping through. So we might be in luck there. We're going to have to clean up the uh, contact points on that side as well. And the casing too. Casing seems to be decent. Although there is that one screw here which got wedged into a spot where it shouldn't. You can see the screw holes here. These ones are supposed to be where the screws go. But this one was just forced in there. So, And eventually over time it looks like it ripped off or it uh, rusted off. So... We'll try and scrub this out, we'll remove that screw there, and then we'll go about trying to fix the rest of this casing here and see what we can do about scrubbing it up and getting these tabs out, getting some new ones in there. So I'll get back on that and I will see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, what I've done is I've taken everything apart and tried to clean it up the best I can. This thing's come out quite decent, I think. The, uh, the casing looks pretty good and I've also been able to remove the, uh, the metal plate here and I sanded it down. I got a replacement spring off of an old camera that I had and I was able to put that in there. I wasn't able to get it completely cleaned along the bottom here but pretty, pretty good for the most part and was able to salvage the tabs on this side as well so that's a good point. As well as this side here, I tried to clean up these um, once again, and uh, here is another spring that I took off that uh, old camera. It was like an old digital camera. So I was able to get that on there. So what I'm going to do next is try and put this thing back together, fit it back together, clean up the buttons, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if it turns on or not. So that's the next step here. I'll get it put back together and uh, we'll give it a shot. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so as you can see here, we've got this guy put back together for the most part. Tried to clean it up the best we could, and uh, there's still a couple of missing screws here in the back. This thing only had about uh, three screws for it, so there's one here. I got one up top and one down at the bottom, so I'm still going to have to find three more to get it all put back together. But we'll try and put in a couple of batteries here and see what happens. I haven't had a chance to test it yet, but hopefully if all goes well, we'll get some power at least. Actually... You know what? We're going to have to try and find the uh, AAA batteries, not AA. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Didn't realize that was AAA. Woo! See you guys in a couple minutes. All right, so I think I have the right batteries this time. So I'll try this one more time here and see how it works. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to test it yet. So 
hopefully everything will work out all right. This thing was in really rough condition. Kind of hoping that kind of comes back to life here. And let's pop in an old game. We got we've got uh, Wario Land here. Let's see if it gets power. Oh, it gets power. Well, it's got volume. Does it have any? Oh, there we go. Yay! It's alive! I think it's about as loud as it goes here. But, uh, as you guys can see, it does. It does work. Yay! So, here we have a uh, another Game Boy Pocket, or another gaming machine here, brought back from the dead. I'm very pleased about that to see that it's working and uh, we're able to salvage this guy here and it took a little bit of work but it is up and working so nonetheless just figure I'd share you guys uh, share this repair here with you guys and uh, yeah it's kind of cool to have uh, another machine here brought back from the dead but that's about all for me for right now like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching Good Game Boy Bucket.